high this season, and she is just outstanding. This leadoff position, she is setting the tone for this ball rotation for the Sooners. Let's see what she can do here. It's a 10-0 start value. Outstanding job. Kira Wells will follow up. Oklahoma, the number one ranked vault rotation in the entire country, ranked everything first except for floor, which they're second. Here, another one and a half. Huge amplitude off the ball. I said it earlier. On the left side of your screen. Already a perfect 10 on vault in her career. <laughs> we might have just seen another. So powerful. Gears up at his first pass. One and a half front layout. Very nice control. Hannah Shibley, left side for Oklahoma. Wow. Watching Hannah in warm up, she did not. On her shoulder and said, You got this girl, giving her all the confidence. Audrey's handled this so well. At the moment, dropping one of those nine nines. Underway, <laughs> West Virginia on vault, Oklahoma on the bars. Here is Danny Seavers, our first look at her. Denver on beam, BYU on floor to set the scene. And Danny is incredible on every event she competes, but bars is one of my favorites. She stuck this dismount just like that in warm-ups. What a start for Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And Abby Thompson coming after that 9.85. Right side, Kat Lavasso. This is a beautiful event for her. See those legs glued together, arms just stick straight. Handstands are impeccable. Line change. She's gonna do an open double tuck. And gets the stick. Seven five in the tiniest step with that right foot on. Faith Torres for Oklahoma on bars. Two nine nine for Oklahoma so far. Step on the lane. Yeah, obviously. Here's Reagan Smith. Following up Faith Torres is 985, which by the way, nine gymnasts have competed for OU. That was the first score below 9-9. Nine, nine. Not the first one that's counted, the first score. And Reagan on the right side. She excels in practice, perfecting her craft. Beautiful pass hands in there. Just the dismount. Double layout. <laughs> what a treat this is. Hutchinson on the left, Davis on the right. I don't even know where to look. Well, thankfully, Davis goes first. On the right, Audrey Davis. This is a Higgins work. Every team has competed three events so far. Here's Audrey Davis to lead off Oklahoma, the number one bars, or 
beam rotation that is in the country. Bars too, it works for both. But I mean, their NQS coming in was 49.71. position so strong and confident there on the left Kylie Rorick for Denver on the right side leading off the Pioneers on the floor Davis to lead off beam. Abby Thompson getting ready for Denver. Ava on the left. Hands from layout, step out acro series. right side of your screen for Denver. She's got a huge first pass that she will be gearing up for right here. Again, on the right side, this is Abby Thompson. Round up back hands for triple twist. Big lunge out of that, but again, three twists there. Very difficult to do. And Kylie Rorick scored a 9-9 to lead off Denver. That Ava seat felt just her plan. Tiny hop on the landing, not the, not the best routine for Hannah and Iowa State. On the left side, Jordan Bowers. Two routines, two tannos so far. Jordan needs one on this event to complete the gym slam. A 10 on all four events in your career. So fierce on balance beam, and she attacks the elements she does. Yeah. On the left side, this is Jordan Bowers. She has two tens already in today's competition. Just the dismount, round off, double twist. And the tiniest hop at the very end. Falls for Iowa State on bars. On the right side of your screen. It looked like she just let go of the bar a little too early. Couldn't get that re-grip up to the high bar. Laura Cook on the right side. She has 30 seconds to get back on the equipment. Denver again, half 
having her back in this floor lineup has been so crucial for this floor rotation for them. step forward one thing that Kat does so well is she can cover it up. Does, out of it. does that pose no problem. Lauren Thomas right side for Iowa State. Try to drop Laura Cook's line too. Lauren coming after a ball. Just needs to be smooth and clean. Such a great ball for her. Handstand and just the dismount on that right side. Lauren Thomas, Iowa State, can she get them back? Yes, she can. Really nice job. Iowa State beats that big score. And Lavasser sticks the dismount on beam for OU. Nice finish there for Ulrich, trying to keep Denver in it with just Jessica Hutchinson still to go. All right, here's Reagan Smith. She is, by the numbers and by the eye test, the top beam worker in the country. This season, Reagan had four straight tempos. She's got nine of them in her career on beat. And then on bars, Logan Boswell for Iowa State, capable of a massive score in her own right. It's Norman. This is Audrey Davis for Oklahoma. I love this floor music. I love this routine. This is what we get to sit back and just watch. Finalist and Coach KJ Kendler is telling us she's just so happy. She thought it was so deserved. And when you look at the list of the finalists, I mean, it's like the who's who of college gymnastics over the last few years. For those not familiar, AAI award the basically the Heisman to the top senior in college gymnastics. Bella Mavanta yeah. following up the 9-9 for Brush. Over on the left side of your screen for Denver and on the right, Oklahoma's Audrey Davis. Hey. And on the left, Lauren for Iowa State. Just the dismount. Yeah. Gets the stick. Really nice coming after oh. Hannah's 9.8 for Iowa State. Johnson following up the 9925 from Davis. Start things combination there, front layout to front one and a half. And on ball on the left side of your screen, Amanda Hargraves for Denver. Another stop here, Chandler Bull. Again, that round off that handsprung entry opens up those hips, kind of flares it a little bit and gets the stick. 
They are trying to drop Bella Mabenta's 9-8-2-5. That's really the only chance that they're gonna have. They need scores 9-9 or better. But it might not even matter with the way that Oklahoma is performing here at Big 12s. Bell Johnson coming after Audrey Davis, 9.925. Yeah, but that was pretty good. Not saying she's going to get it, but Reagan following up Bell Johnson's 9 9. To this point, they still have one routine performed today below a 9 9. Reagan opening, that was an open double tuck. Reagan is one of those athletes, she has so many tricks. Up her sleeve, she has so many skills she can do. So good in the lead, so good in college. It's it's really been a joy these five years. Source of motivation for her with it being her senior year. She's operating with such a sense of urgency that Coach Kindler alluded to earlier. She's embracing things down the backstretch here of her collegiate career. Well, that's her so far today a 999975 and a 995. Flows out her all around. Ethan. I invite you to, to sit back and enjoy greatness, because sometimes that's really all you can do. Couldn't have said it better myself, Alex. This is Faith Torres. For Oklahoma, she's got a big first pass here, round of backhands with double layout. Huge and done perfectly every time. Vassar's score has come in. It's a 9-9-5. We wait for that to come in on the board. Just Jordan Bowers to come after Torres. And we should put a bow on Denver. 9-9 for Jessica Hutchinson. 49-4 for them on vault. And a final score of 197 975 they are going to be there when it's all said and done. Trip to Fort Worth seems like it's uh, certainly in the offense. <laughs> Ava Torres, this is her last pass in this incredible floor team. Front step out through double tuck. Coming after. 
Thundercats 9.95. Seventh national championship this year. Their third in a row. Jordan Bowers closes it out on floor for the number one Sooners. Open up with a really nice combination. Front hands bring double twist to a punch front right here. Double twist, punch front. Perfect. Jordan Bowers already has two perfect tens today. 